Are you guys ready for day 119? Let's go! What's up guys? I am Michael McEnough and this is Leo the Hiking Dog. For the last year we have been planning and preparing for this through hike of the Appalachian Trail. Thank you for joining our adventure. If you're enjoying the journey, please like, subscribe, and turn on notifications. We would be super thankful. Good morning. It is day 119. I am sitting outside the tent here. I was told you guys I was going to try to show it to you in the morning if I'm not getting eaten up by black flies and they're not too bad yet. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how I set this thing up on a platform. Now this is a trekking pole tent. Um, that being said, you know, um, I don't use trekking poles, so there's these, uh, carbon fiber, uh, poles that, that come with it, uh, or that, that don't come with it that you can buy, uh, if you don't use trekking poles. So that's how I use my tent. Now, using it on a platform was a little bit trickier. I thought I was going to go the rock route, but, um, the rocks <laughs> were not holding up. No matter how much I, how well I, you know, Put the rope around the rock the rocks just weren't holding down the the um the ropes so here's what i did instead that is one of the corners of my tent and so what i did was i took a piece or a, a stick like that and i slid it through the hole and then i put it where i needed to on the deck and put it underneath just like that and that allows me to tighten down uh, the tent now I was able to do that for all four stakes and the front and back uh, posts. Um, however, the side ones, um, I was lucky enough, or at least somebody thought forward enough to add these nails to the side of the, um, the platform so that, that I can hook the side ones on there as well. So, um, so yeah, that is um, what it looks like there on the platform, uh, fully set up. Like I said, everything fastened down by just uh, sliding a stick through the, the little hole and then putting it underneath the planks at the edges. So that worked out really, really well. Uh, the rocks did not work out very well. So I wouldn't utilize this um, tent if I was having plan or planning on having to use rocks as, as a way to pitch my tent. Um, we definitely would need some type of a you know, freestanding kit or freestanding tent to uh to do that this is not the freestanding tent that you need but i was able to make it work with a platform all right well i've already got everything all packed up uh, i just need to uh to chug a bottle of water um i think that there's a view right around this uh this side trail here so we might take a peek at that before we head out and then we're going to get our day started it's going to be another very 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 hot day i'm already in wet clothes from sweating in them yesterday and uh, I don't think that they'll stay dry, or I mean, they're, they're probably, and they're as dry as they've been in a while, but they're not going to stay this way very long. As hot as it was yesterday, it's probably going to be uh, even worse today. So we're going to take our time, take plenty of breaks, drink lots of water, um, but we're going to get on trail. All right, guys, we are heading down off of Killington Mountain. I was going to go do one of these side trails, but these black flies are already out this morning, and I ain't playing with them. I want to get off of this mountain. I've never had them attack me so bad um, like they did last night and they're already starting again this morning and I've only got so much blood in me and I don't want to give it up so uh, we're gonna get the heck off this mountain and hopefully away from these black flies. You know the funny thing is when I was coming up the mountain you could hear them buzzing but they actually didn't bite me or attack me. It's not until I like got up to the top of the mountain and was trying to get everything set up that they started pretty much like swarming you and it's ridiculous so we're gonna go ahead and get off this mountain it is a uh, 6 30 in the morning so we're off to a nice and early start and uh it's gonna be another big long hot day so here we go
just stopped and did a little assessment of uh, Leo's food. I need to get the hand over by Friday, and uh, I really don't think I can stretch his food that far. My wife did include some moist and meaty packets in this last resupply, so that has helped, but um, I'm still not going to get a full four and a half days out of it. We left on Sunday. I fed him before we left, so uh, Monday, Tuesday, today's Wednesday. He's got enough food to get him through the rest of the day, but then he would run out of food sometime tomorrow, and we still need to get to Hanover on Friday. So the uh, the bus runs down here at Route 4, so I think I'm going to jump on the bus, and there's a deli slash marketplace, like one stop up towards Killington. I'm thinking if I uh, get there, we can stretch both of our foods, because that way I can go ahead and eat and then pack out a sandwich, and that'll give me extra food to get into Hanover, and then uh, see if I can't find a, a meal or two for him and to get us to Hanover. So I think that's going to be the plan. Um, and that's also going to just get us there back and on trail as quickly as possible um, because the bus is running there and uh, and back. So it, it shouldn't take us that long to get there and back. So, uh, so that's the plan. So yeah, we're going to do that right now. Well, that went perfectly. We got to the parking lot and there was a wonderful woman there named Sherry. And Sherry was willing to uh, just give us a ride up to the store and get everything that we needed. So I got uh, more food for Leo, which they did actually have uh, dog food. So we were able to, to load him up with some more dog food. Um, that's I got plenty now. And um, I was able to pick up a couple of sandwiches that are gonna help me uh, stretch my food out as well. So um, yeah, that couldn't have been any better because now we get to get right back on trail and keep on going. I also ate a big old uh, bowl of uh, fruit and uh and had some pasta salad too so i got two sandwiches in my backpack uh, one's going to be for dinner and i got one for lunch um, and we got a couple of beautiful places that we're going to be visiting today uh, kent pond and thunder falls um, so looking forward to both of those and so we're about to cross over highway four and uh, that that went absolutely amazing so thank you thank you so, this so much sherry you really made our day a lot easier All right, we have reached the main junction. This is where the Vermont Long Trail and the Appalachian Trail split back up and become their own thing again. So we are heading the Appalachian Trail north now. Uh, no longer with any long trailers. Uh, maybe that'll make the shelters a little less crowded um, if you wanted to stay in a shelter. But all right, here we go. Back on the AT by itself without the Vermont Trail with us or the long trail with us anymore. All right, next stop, Kent Pond. That is Kent Pond. Um, doesn't look swimming friendly right there in that area. So we're gonna kind of look for a different spot. But we're also, we have Thundering Falls today, which isn't that far after Kent Pond. So that might be a better spot for us to get wet. It is 86 degrees right now. So getting in the water would not be a bad idea whatsoever.
right, guys, it is like 2 o'clock in the afternoon, and it's like 86 degrees. I am so hot. So we do have thundering falls coming up, so I'm going to stop there and get that water and try to cool my body temperature down before I continue. It's going to adjust my plans for the day, though, because I'm not getting where I originally planned. I had like 22 slated for the day, but God, this heat is just kicking my butt. It is kicking my butt. And yeah, I don't want Leo to overheat either. So I've been trying to keep a nice and slow, steady pace. Um, just trying to keep moving. I mean, we did have to stop and get the food and got sandwiches and all that kind of stuff. But God, this heat is just sweltering. It's just, God, it's just overwhelming right now. And I'm from Florida. So I know what Florida heat is. And right now, Vermont is trying to play Florida. 86 degrees on a Vermont day. Oh gosh. I mean, I just have like holding the camera right here. There's like dr sweat dripping off of my elbow because of the way I'm holding the camera. That's how ridiculously it is. And, and this is a little bit personal, but uh, the inside of my left thigh is so chafed right now. It is like hamburger meat. Oh, it just, it's so painful. I put body glide on it every time I stop, but it doesn't seem to be helping right now. It is so hot. And I said, my shirt is soaked through, my shorts are soaked through and all in sweat. I'm just gonna get to this uh, waterfall, get in the water and then reassess from there. So obviously that's not really a spot that I can go technically swimming at, but it looks like down here at the bottom of the falls, there might be a little bit of a hole where everything drops down into. So I'm fixing to climb down there and see. Well, I could not find a safe way to get down to that little hole. But if you come down a little bit further, you can step off of the boardwalk and the brook is right here. So I don't care what level of me gets wet, but I'm getting in that water. Right there, if I just got to sit down and let it run over me, I'll sit down and lay down and let it run over me because it is that hot today. Well, that was very refreshing. The hilarious part was I got to the creek. I found a spot and it was only like ankle deep, but I was going to sit in it and just wash myself over with water anyway. And literally, oh, ow, just that rock sticking to my foot. Oh, that hurt. Um, literally, as I'm getting the camera set up, a thunderstorm or a uh, rainstorm just pops through and just drenches everything. So I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing because it's still 80 degrees outside. It did drop the temperature about five degrees, but now I don't know if it just goes to humidity and makes it even hotter out here or what. But either way, that felt good. Um, and uh, and was much needed all right guys just to give you as an idea of how serious the conditions are here today I just ran across a rescue unit um, they were out here 
um, extracting a hiker uh, that had a heat exhaustion. So it's that serious out here today. It is that hot. And uh, you got to make sure that you hydrate, hydrate, hydrate. Don't overdo it. When you got a chance to cool off like I did, just sit in the water and paddle water over you, do it. So we, um, we're aiming for a campsite now called Stony Brook. Um, there's a Stony Brook shelter, but we're going to bypass the shelter and we're going to go to the actual brook itself because I read there's a couple of swimming holes there. So um, good camping and swimming holes. At the end of the day, it's only going to be 17 miles, but I don't care. I'm going to cool off. I'm going to stay cool and uh, I want to end my night um, in a nice, cool brook. So that's what we're going to do. All right, so we're pushing our way. Got a little less than three miles now, and uh, we'll get all set up. mile to the uh to the brook where we're gonna camp at we just passed by the shelter um there's a nice little water source right there we had to stop and chug a bottle of water again even before i got to the brook even though it's only half a mile i had to stop and get water um especially after seeing that guy get carted out of here for heat exhaustion it just ain't worth it just ain't worth trying to get 20 today but uh i'm happy with 17 i'm, I'm good with that um Chafing on the leg is feeling a lot better since I got in that creek. So I'm hoping that it's even better after I get in this brook tonight. Uh, there's supposed to be some swimming holes up here. So once I get there, we'll uh, determine whether I'm going to swim first and set up camp or I'm going to camp, set up camp and then swim. Probably swim first uh, just to bring my body temperature down. So, but we're almost there and uh, I'll show you guys around when we get there. Well, look what we have here. A ladder. Guess what Leo can't do? Climb down ladders like that. Uh, yeah. I have to figure out a different route for him. Um, Alright. I'll let you guys know how this comes out. Alright. So there's the ladder. And uh, neither one of us used it. We wound up coming down um, that rock over there. And then there and then step there and then jump down there where there's a will there is a way and we will always find our way all right i spy a swimming hole right there this is going to be home for the night. We're gonna set up the tent right in here somewhere. And uh, yeah, so we'll get started. We got our tent all set up here. So now it's time for me to do a cold plunge. 
All right, I got my feet and my legs in there a minute ago, but this water's a lot colder than that creek I sat in earlier. But we're gonna go ahead and take the full dip. Oh, I gotta take my glasses off again. Ugh. I keep climbing in with my glasses. Oh, this is a perfect little cold plunge pool right here. So you climb down into it and there's a little place you can sit right down here in the middle. So that's what we're gonna do. All right, there we go. On three. One, two, three. Oh, 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 oh. Woo! Woo! Oh. Oh, that's cold. Oh. Yeah. Exactly what the body needed. Oh, I'm going to sleep good tonight. All right, guys, we are all set up in the tent for the night. I got my dry clothes on. I'm going to get my wet clothes hung out so that they can dry for the morning. Uh, got 17 miles in today, but that's okay. Um, it was so hot. I'm just happy to, you know, have as many miles as I did. Um, ending the day in that cold plunge was, oh, let me tell you, my feet feel so good right now uh, unfortunately that's not gonna last very long <laughs> but that's okay they feel good for now um, and that the the cold plunge of my body felt really good so um, that's gonna be it for tonight we'll see you guys tomorrow mm -hmm.